This month we've been talking about travel and how to scrapbook the different ways we travel. And we have um, these photos of Griffin when he was a baby, so 11, over 11 years ago. And um, today's layout is traveling home with him when we picked him up as a puppy and how he fell asleep on the floor mat in the truck. So here he is right asleep in the truck. So it's something that if you have children or maybe a spouse or a, a friend fell asleep in the vehicle or you stopped and got snacks on the way, this is something you can use these photos to scrapbook those memories. Hello, I'm Amanda Farlinger and I help busy women scrapbook their memories using stamps, ink, and paper. So I have these, so I have these photos here. I have a lot of other photos of bringing Griffin home that day. And um, selecting photos is usually the easiest part for me. Um, what about you? I sometimes find it hard to select the colors or paper I want to use with the photos. Today we're using the um, Hello Irresistible Designer Series paper. I forgot what it was called. So this paper here. And so we have some, um, forgot the names too. Lost Lagoon and Soft Sea Foam are the colors in the designer paper that we'll use. And sometimes you just want it just right. But other times it's what the layout will look like gets me stuck. So that's why I love sketches. So I do have this three fun scrapbook sketches and how to use them freebie that you can sign up. The link will be in the description below. And uh, we're going to use um, sketch number three. So layout number three. So I have it here. This is my sample picture. Um, the video is linked in the lead magnet with some directions and whatnot. So you can go back and look at that video to see how to put this layout together. But we're going to do a slightly different version of it using the same sketch, but changing up the colors, the product, and the photos. And we're going to add a third photo. So if you noticed on this layout, I have two photos, whereas this time I have three. All right, so I have some of the pieces ready to go here. And um, this is something that you can put together fairly easy. Now I'm using six by six paper rather than 12 by 12. So the Hello Irresistible Designer Series paper is 12 by 12. So I have cut these down and the dimensions are in that lead magnet. So if you're wanting that lead, lead magnet, the link is below um, in the description of this video. Um, and I've done a little bit of stamping, but of course we'll do a little more stamping here in a minute. All right, so let's put some glue. Actually, no, we're not gonna do glue because then I'll forget that we need to do some die cutting. All right, now I forgot to trim this down. Our stamp and cut mini is three and a half inches is the platform. So it is something that if you're going to use dies, my desk is a mess at the moment. So if you're going to use the dies, then in the mini machine, you will need to cut down your paper to three and a half inches wide. Doesn't matter how long, I mean, you can, you can see how long it is here. I haven't measured it. But there is a little icon in our catalogs, in the Stampin' Catalogs, and also on our online store. So if you wanted to purchase, if you're in Canada, um, it'd be wonderful if you chose me as your demonstrator. And the um, list of products I'll use that I've used on this layout will be linked below in the blog post. So I do blog posts for each of my videos. So then you have um, some close up photos and a link to the, the products used and all that fun stuff. Okay, so we have one die cut, but I don't think I need another one. Put that back for now. All right, now we can glue together. I didn't want to lose that part. All right, so the other thing I'm changing on this layout is this here. It has the smaller piece here between the two larger layers. 
I'm going to put it at the bottom of this layer. So this is Lost Lagoon and this is Pecan Pie. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue along the bottom here. And this is something that, um, because it's six by six, this layout is pretty good because it covers up the center. So if you are using six by six paper and you have a little bit of worry that you're not going to have it cover the whole page. Ooh, that's not correct. Then um, make sure your photos or embellishments or something are covering up the center. So see, that's, that's not lined up all that well. It's not bad, but I can cover it up and you won't really notice it. All right, so now we're going to glue this. Oops. Onto my pecan pie 12 by 12. And this, I've been using um, the last couple, I think the last couple of videos has been the, um, um, there's a new pack of cardstock that coordinates with all the new colors, not the new in colors, but the new core colors that Stampin' Up! brought out with the new catalog. So that is something that if you um, have colors from before, this way, so if you have colors before and you want the new colors, I would suggest purchasing some of the, like the ink pads or the cardstock bundles, because then you can purchase just the new ones without having to buy the whole collection again. So I'm just going to cover this little piece up a little bit. You don't have to, they can butt right up against if you'd like. So like so, so it's not perfect here in the center, but I, I turned the piece of paper around a couple different times before I cut it to the proper height, just so that the lines looked good. All right, now let's do a little stamping. So we have some Memento Tuxedo Black and the Alphabest stamp set. So this stamp set um, is all lowercase letters. If you're looking for something with uppercase, a little bit bigger, then the classic letters stamp set may be a better option. All right, so I'm, so we're doing this title up here. I've trimmed down the size a little bit. Um, one, because I made a mistake with stamping. <laughs> I was stamping Griffin and they were kind of wonky. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to trim it off and start over again. And I mean, I could have just turned the cardstock over, but I decided that um, I just start again. All right. My Simply Shammy. And that did not turn out well. Oh, well, good enough. Oops, I don't need my fingers in the ink. All right, so now that I know the length of my little banner, flag, whichever you want to call it, so I'm just going to trim this like so. So now we have Griffin's name that we can put on the top of our layout. And I didn't think it would quite fit on one of the tags from the tailored tags. But that is another option too. So if you wanted to use the tailored made, tailored made tags, if I could say it, um, I mean, it, it might. Oh, look, it did. It did fit. So that's another option for you. So if you wanted, instead of making 
this and you could use a different color. You can use vanilla or white or well, more white because this is a white based um, designer series paper. All right, so, so far, so here's our layout. Here's our, our sketch. So um, you can do two portrait. You can even put another photo up here, shorten up your title, that type of thing. But we're going to do some uh, landscape photos. So I have this one on dimensionals because uh, this one's more cute to me. <laughs> um, the, the, this photo I took to remember that every time Chad put the brakes on or started going, because we, were we weren't on the highway at that point, um, Griffin would slide forward or slide back, depending. So he was just sliding and he fell asleep and he was asleep and that was it. So it was just so cute. So we have this here, this here. So see how they're going to cover up that line here. And then this one, I have dimensionals on the back, but not this corner because this is going to go like this. Because this is the very one of the very first photos I took of Griffin, and it shows you his size. Unless you know his size now, but it shows how tiny he was. All right. So you can do this with, um, you know, I could see this with if you had friends friends you're traveling with, if you did like a selfie at the start of your trip, if you had to stop and get gas, um, you know, you could save those memories. Um, you know, if you like to, to stop and get like, I don't know, slushies or Timmy's or <laughs> something like, oh, which one do I not want to, I'm not going to take this one off up top just because it'll probably be over this photo. And I want to be able to take this photo later, um, off if I need to. So we're not going to take that dimensional off. So let's see. I'm going to offset it. Oops. Just a little and not cover them up too much up there. And then we're just gonna take these three off. So if you find a sketch that you're not, sh like you have more photos that you wanna add, you can always, like any of my sketches, if you wanted to add some more photos or take away a photo. So um, like another one of the sketches, like this one here, which was, the, the layout was made using new products that um, you could take one of those photos away or change this into two smaller three by four ish. You'd have to cut down the size a little bit, but that's another option too. So um, that link is below in the description and um, as, well, as well as a link to my blog post where you'll find the um, products used. All right. I forgot to grab the pen. I think this is what I want. All right, so we, I should have put this in before I put the um, uh, photos on, but that's okay. So we have July 6th, 2012. You might laugh at me, but I have no idea if that's the date. Who cares? It's back in 2012. Well, that's not even gonna work. I was gonna tuck it under there. Look, it's not not enough room. All right. Now what am I gonna do? Do I, I could do that? Tuck it under both sides. Yeah, okay. Do that. That's that that's that's kind of fun, isn't it? Yeah, I kind of, I kind of like that. What do you think? Uh, that's, I'm not going to glue it down first. I'm going to double check the date. <laughs> and I haven't done journaling yet, but I will use the Stampin' Write marker. Um, I love the new design of these ones. So if you do have an old, like, black marker and it doesn't write as well, these felt tips are awesome. These new uh, tips. All right, so this is what we started with or this layout, the thunder layout. Um, and this is what we ended up with adding another photo. And I thought about doing some other stamping with this. This is one of the things I like about, about the Alphabest stamp set 
is because you have these other pieces or little flowers. So you can use these to add like a, a border along here if you wanted or kind of stamp along here. So that's some of the options for you. I believe there is a punch that will coordinate with these. So this is designed to fit over all these letters so that you could punch out, stamp, and then punch out either, each of the letters. All right, so here is traveling by truck, bringing Griffin home um, layout. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. And a right reminder, the list of products used is below. And if you're wanting to grab that um, scrapbook sketch layout ideas, the link is below as well. And I will see you next week. See you then.